Hi everyone, today's video we are going to make these bow cards and it's a really nice size large bow. This is a 6x6 card. You can make a really pretty bow card here. Here's another one I made. This is some uh, Prima paper. So the different ways that you can decorate this. Here's the die set, and I'll put the link down below. I purchased this from AliExpress. So this is the larger one. And this is about, let's see here, about six, six and a quarter by what, three and a, one eighth. And it's a stitched long oval. And then the smaller one is about five and three quarters and two and five eighths. So you can see it's a very large size bow and then you get three different sizes. Really fun and you can use these as you know banners if you like just cut this part off that can become a you know a banner. So different ways that you could use these dies but I thought um, it would be pretty as a bow because the sample photo that they had they created this bow card and I thought you can create this style and I love how it turned out so let's go ahead and make one so what I did was I went ahead and cut a 6x6 white card stock so this is 6x6 six six paper this is um, Prima's this is the textured paper pad that I used. So I used it in white. And I went ahead and cut it. So let's go ahead and fold that. So let's fold this. And again, you can decorate these bow cards however you like. Lots of different ways. And then I went ahead and die cut. The paper that I'm using for this one is the Maggie Holmes Carousel. I found this paper pad at Tuesday morning. You could see I used a lot of it. I was lucky enough to find three of them. And you could see I even saved my scraps because it's such a beautiful paper. So I'm going to layer that. And this is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. So we're going to layer that right on top. Okay. So let me just get my adhesive here. This is just um, this is We Are Memory Keepers. I found this at Tuesday morning. So let's just go ahead and adhere that. So you can put this bow on other projects. You don't necessarily have to put it on a card. Um, oops, I guess I ran out. Um, you could put it on other projects as well. I think I bought more. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, so this is what I bought from Tuesday morning. And it was only $1.49, so not bad. And it's permanent adhesive, which is good. So let's get another new one here. So we're going to adhere that on top. Again, this is um, five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then I went ahead and cut another five and three quarters by five and three quarters white cardstock to just add it in the inside. You could put design paper. I'm just going to leave it white. I'll probably do some stamping in the middle or write a long message. So let's add that in the inside. Okay. All right, so we got the card there. Now what you're going to have to do is die cut one of the larger fishtail things I call, little banners. This is 
the the largest one so I die cut one of those out and because it's smaller than the six by six I had to cut it in half so I'm going to go ahead and do that just fold this in half so I'm going to fold this in half and then I'll cut in the middle so I'll go ahead and cut that Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to place it like so. And don't worry, this is going to get all covered up. So what I do is I use um, this part right here, see that, as my guide to be right. Actually, you could do it a little bit over the card or within the card. It's totally up to you. So I'm going to do it right on, maybe a little bit over. So I'm just going to add it to this part of the die cut. I'm not going to add it right here. And I'm just going to eyeball it. So I'm going to put it kind of in the center here. And we'll do the same to this one. So, and then you can take this um, tool that I've shared a couple times in the video if you want to curl those up. You could do that. Okay, so now it's curled up. Now you're going to die cut four of the larger ovals. Okay, so I die cut four of them out. And what I'm going to do is curl them up first. Get a good curl here. I tell you, this tool is the handiest thing ever. Okay. And then I'm going to take some double sided tape. You can use a hot glue gun if you want. You know, adhesive is always your preference. This is just some Primo one inch double sided tape. Really nice strong tape. I'm just going to cut a piece here. And then I'm going to put it at one of the ends here. I'm going to do that to all four of them. Just cut a piece. Now if you want, you can also layer the small oval one on top of this if you want to give it a layered look. You could do that. You can't do it to the smaller one because there's not one for that one. But I'm sure you can find a way to make that work. Okay. So let's go ahead and peel that out. And then we're just going to line it up like so. Okay, so you've got something like that. Okay, let's do the other three. So there's a ton of beautiful papers out there that you can create these bow cards with. And I was able to use this die set with my cuddle bug. It fits in the cuddle bug. I use my cuddle bug a lot because I guess because um, it's smaller and It fits nicely on my table because I don't have a lot of workspace to work with. So it's easier for me to just bring out my cuddle bug, even though I have my other die cut machines right underneath this table. 
it's just quicker to whip that thing out. Okay, so you got all four of them. We're going to do the same to the smaller one. So you're going to make, cut out four of the smaller ovals. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. So let's curl these guys up. And let's cut a piece. It's pretty too with um, double sided paper. This is, you know, one sided. So it's really nice with double sided because you, um, you know, like here you can see the inside of the bow. So, but I love this paper and it's only one sided. So, but it's still going to be pretty because I love anything Maggie Holmes. So let's go ahead and peel this out and fold that. Oh, and I went to Hobby Lobby, I think it was last week, and Tim Holtz now has his set of scissors in black. I was so tempted to get it, because black is one of my favorite colors. I know, we'll see. I mean, I have all his in red, but the black one looks really nice. Okay. All right, there we go. So we've got all four of those, okay? So now what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take the larger ones and again, add some adhesive. So we're gonna cut some more adhesive here. I'd say this is probably the only most time consuming part, but it's well worth it at the end once you've completed your card. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is, you can see with this one, it's a little bit over the card, okay? So you just wanna kinda tilt it, make sure it's within um, this part, because you don't wanna cover too much of that. So just kinda eyeball it here, and, and you're gonna do it at an angle. Like so. So like that. Okay, and then you're gonna do the next one. So let's add our adhesive to that. And again, you can use hot glue. You don't have to use, it'll probably be faster if you use hot glue. Do this one, and I like to make sure my bows are nice and rounded, so I just kind of adjust it a little bit. And I'm going to do that to this side, okay? So, so far, it looks like that. And then, when you're doing the bottom, you want to make sure that the bow is within the card, that way, the card can stand up nicely, okay? Because if you go over the card, it's not gonna be able to stand up as well. Okay, let's do the last two of the large pieces. So I'm just gonna cut two at the same time, be faster. Okay, let's peel this. And then I'm going to tilt that and make sure it's within the bottom of the card. But lined up with this. Okay, see that? And you can use, you know, some of your lace trims. 
lots of ways to decorate this. Let's do this one. Sure. Okay, so because like this one, I add some of that. This one right here. This is upholstery thread that I use a lot. I add it in between the bow, which is really pretty. Okay, so you could do that. Now let's get, go ahead and layer this one. Now because there are words on here, we want to make sure it's going the correct direction. I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, I'm going to cut just two of these and then cut it in half because it's a smaller piece. Oops. Okay, let's see which word do I want. Okay, I think it's magic to show. Let me count. And then I want the love to show. And then the words have to go this way, so the XO will show on this one. half but it's really sticky tape and then yay will show on this one okay so let's put that on top okay I'm just gonna lay that right on top Try to get as close to the edge as possible. Oh, I'm gonna get my tool back faster. Where's my tool at? I tell you, every time I get on camera. I can never find my stuff for some reason. I'll just use my scissors. Okay. Hold on. It's not coming out. Okay. Alright. So just lay that right on top. Okay, one more. It's coming along really cute. I just kind of adjust this part. I do this. Just kind of smooth that out. Oop. Stick that and stick that all the way down. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. Really cute, huh? Right? And then see how it stands up? Really nice. So I just like to give it a good press one more time. Okay, so now. I went ahead and stamped an image. This is the Julie Nutting doll stamp, Dita. So I used her right here. I used Dita. And I used these stitched oval dies by um, Gina Marie Designs. It's an older set. I used the third one for the smallest to die cut that out. I Copic colored her and then I paper pieced the outfit that had this cute little swan on there. And then I die cut out one of these. This is another AliExpress die, which is this one right here. It's really pretty. And then I die cut another one of the same oval to put on the back. So for this one, because the bow is, you can see it's very deep, I put two phone tapes on there. And then um, for her, I just add one, okay? Let's go ahead and peel that out. So you can use a stamped image or you can use a flower like this one. You can see I put a flower on that one. So I'm just going to layer this on top like so. And then I'm going to layer this right on top of this. Just kind of match it up there. Just give it a good squeeze. And then I'll peel this out. 
And I like to add extra adhesive to my sticky tape sometimes. Just, just a little extra security there. And this is um, Fabri-Tac glue by Beacon. And I purchased that at Michael's. And then I'm just going to put this right in the center, like so. Let's give it a good press. And there is your bow card. Really fun card and project to create. Again, I will put the information of the die where I purchased it on AliExpress down below. I hope you give it a try. It's a really fun project. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.